Hello and Namaskar, it's a fantastic Friday evening and this is Nishant welcoming you to a program on Diseases and Pest Management of Muga Host Plants and Muga Silk Worm. And the promo light on today's topic of discussion, we have with us in our studios today, Mr. B. Chaudhary, Scientist D and Head of Muga Silk Worm Seed Organization, Central Silk Board, Guwahati. We also have with us Dr. Ranjana Das, Scientist D, Central Muga Silk, ERI Research and Training Institute, Jorhat. A great welcome to both of you in the studios of Program Production Center, Northeast Doodarshan, Guwahati. Thank it you. is also to inform all our valued viewers that today our program is a phone in live program. So viewers can reach us at our contact detail, which is 0361-2202600. I repeat, 0361-2202600. To start our discussion today, first of all, I would like to uh, come to Mr. B. Chaudhary. What are the major diseases and pests of Muga host plants? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, really, this is a very good question because uh, most important thing is that uh, silicon feeds on the host plants. Absolutely. So, there are definitely lots of diseases to the host plant and lots of paste for the host plants. Out of that, most of the diseases are foliar nature. There is a, this type of uh, disease occurs in the leaves and that will uh, cause the loss to the host uh, yeah, and we can we cannot go to the quantum of rearing supposed to conduct, we cannot do that. So, this is most important. Out of that, uh, the diseases like uh, say in, uh, the caused by algae, then mm. some of the diseases caused by the fungus, mm. but there are some remedy measures that can be controlled to some extent. But the most important part is the your uh, what is called uh, paste. Yes. Because Muga silicon to rear Muga silicon, we want the leaf foliages. Absolutely. So, there are some paste that completely damage the foliages mm. and we cannot go for the rearing. Out of that, Kikula is most important or one of the, yeah, it will totally damage the foliages and there will not be a single leaf in the plants. That is in Assam is uh, what is called uh, Amphutuga. Okay. So, once I was, uh, I was posted in Orunachal Pradesh. There was one farm, and uh, mostly we have uh, experience with this type of uh, pest. Actually, that time. Uh, so it's it's very common in the northeastern part not of the country. Not uh, common, but yes. it is common because in Assam it is called amphutuka. Okay. Generally, you will find it in the mango trees. Okay. In the local dialect, it's known yeah. as amphutuka. Amphutuka. Okay. Local dialect it is called amphutuka. You will find it, but this is the secondary host for the yeah, for Krikula. This is the second secondary food plants. Okay. So they generally used to consume the entire foliages of the plants, and you will not get single leaf for conduction of uh, mm. Muga silicon rearing. So, that is the most uh, dangerous pest. So, highly harmful for the harmful, Muga silicon? Not harmful for the Muga silicon, it is a totally you, uh, it's a complete total disaster. It's disaster. A complete, complete disaster. Exactly, yes. it is yes. complete uh, disaster. Coming to Ranjana, madam, uh, what are the major diseases and pests that you see for the Muga uh, host plants? Okay, very good question. Uh, actually, success of rearing of Muga silicon is depends always on the Quality, quantity and quality of the food plants. Diseases are the most, most vulnerable, foliar diseases are the most vulnerable Muga silkworm food plants. Okay. Are these diseases are mainly leaf spot, leaf rust, uh, brown blight, grey blight. And mostly these are caused by fungus and algae. Uh, the total uh, potential leaf yield of Muga silicon is 24 metric ton per hectare per year. Okay. But in farmers level, it is only 16 metric ton. So, it is too less, means gap is more than 30 percent. Right. And this is due to mostly for diseases. And loss is, for different diseases, loss is ranges from 6 to 42 percent. Okay. So, it is very high very because high sometimes high. it is uh, per year 932 kg to it is ranges to 1600 kg. Okay. So, it is too high. So, uh, consciousness is required. Definitely, uh, a strong consciousness is required. So, yeah. coming to yeah. yeah just yeah. I want to add here another another important phase for the host plant is your uh, stem borer. All right. Generally, stem borer they used to lay eggs on the food plant's body, hmm. rank of the uh, food plants. And that uh, eggs will hatch and it will just make a tunnel and enter into the okay. host plant in the body. It will penetrate and uh, yeah. go yeah, yeah. inside. Uh, okay. And that entire system of this food plants, no, it will be just uh, damaged, they will damage it. 
then uh, ultimately after few years if there is infestation rate is more than uh, 2, 3 or 4, 5 like this then uh, within uh, 4, 5 years this plants will completely die. Then there is another phase that is of course, seasonal that is very, very seasonal hmm. that is called uh, your shoot borer okay. not stem borer this is the stem borer, but this is the shoot borer small okay. branches the I insect I will make the holes on so the it generally occurs in the shoots. Yeah, yeah, that, that is, is occurs in the shoot. Shoot. Hmm. And uh, you will find during in the February, March, you will find that uh, some of the plants they are having the gray leaves, means gray leaf means they attack by the shoot borer. Okay. So, that way they have damaged the foot plants and ultimately you will not get the So, quality. it is one of the identities. Identities. So, you will not get the quality foliages for the silicon berry. Okay. Stem borer is very dangerous right. because it uh, attack the pit of the plant, it eat the vascular system of the plant nice. and it lives inside the plant up to 11 months. Okay. So, it acts as a host plant for 11 months. Yeah. That is quite detrimental. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. ultimately plants die. Yeah. So, uh, talking about the percentage of loss and it's is it beyond the economic threshold level? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, more than 5 percent yield loss when it is occurred, more than 5 percent leaf yield loss, then it is ETL is uh, it is going to ETL means economic threshold level. It okay, so comes the economic to, threshold so level is the yeah. 5 percent under, yeah, 5 yeah. percent the so danger level yeah, mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we have to take precautionary measures when it is more than 5 percent. Okay. So, what is uh, your view on this question? the percentage of the loss and, and uh, is it uh, beyond the economic threshold level? Yeah, what uh, Dr. Ranjana Das has told, it is a fact because we have worked there, uh, because we are having the CMNT Central Mugari Research and Training Institute, where this uh, generated research for find out the control measures mm -hmm. of this type of diseases is carried out. So, before that we want to know, we should know the what is the economic loss Absolutely. Up, to, uh, up to that. Hmm. So, what she has told that is a 100 percent correct hmm. and we have also developed some of the measures how best we can manage this. I will cut short here, we have got to call yeah. in our show. Okay. Uh, yes, gentlemen, welcome to our show and please tell us your name and from where are you calling? Hello, can you hear my voice? Hello. 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 Yes, please tell us a question. चालुकिया पलु पालन विषय जानवे चालुकिया पलु आम केसार जने के जत्न लगने के चालुकिया पलुख जत्न लग लगे प्रथम साल कटाराल कटाले के चालुकिया क्या है और सीखनी समय पलुखी सदा हाथेरे चुब ना जिमान तो परिमान पात थके आनटाज कर मानने लगभ लगे ना पलुखी सोकाले चुबलगिया है और पलुखिक सदा आम एट गस डाल डलार व्यवस्था करूँ जने कईमहिया पात दु लगे सीटर ऊपर निर्भर कर तार आगत ग डाल डलो चालुकिया पलु साधारण तीनमहिया चारिमहिया पाथे दी लगे सीकार चालुकिया पलु पोहार आगते सदा तीन चार माह आगते प्लेन तो लगे और सभी प्लेन तो कर पिछड़ा तीन चार माह आगते गसखि डाल डलि तक तीनमहिया चारिमहिया पात आरक ग गढ़ी तुम लगे सुमनी खन got his answer. So, coming yeah. back to you sir, again, the, uh, we are talking about the percentage of loss and whether it is beyond the economic threshold level. Yeah, it was a really a economic, uh, beyond economic threshold level. Hmm. So, we should try how best we can manage this to get the quantity and Absolutely. quantum of In kind of, in, uh, in the situations of diseases, the management becomes of paramount importance. Exactly. Yes. Management is most important because you see, for uh, rearing because Muga silicon is rear outdoor and only one plants we can go for two times of rearing in a year. So, we will have to plan just what Dr. Anjanada has told right now, this is a fact, we will have to plan in advance and so that we can give the prune to the plants to take up a particular crops after 4 or 5 months. Mm -hmm. So, during that period whatever the foliage will come out, foliage sprouting will come out, definitely it will be to some extent less disease occurrence or less pest mm -hmm. infested than the mm -hmm. unpruned plant. Absolutely. 
it will be less, less effective. Less effective. Hmm. Less effective. So, always we have uh, asking the farmers when we go to the farmers field, we give them advice go for pruning, do that uh, pollarding, so that you can get the quality foliage for particular that crops. Hmm. But the thing is that the traditionally they are habituated with that old type of technologies, Absolutely. old type of plants, very high plants. So, the they are reluctant the conventional to give the technique prune. still prevails. Yeah. Still prevails. Hmm. Of course, it is not, it is coming up, they are taking up the new technologies, hmm. but it is not completely adopted by the farmers. Hmm. Gradually, it will come definitely, hmm. we are expecting. So, it, it becomes very imperative to modernize the things. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, uh, the various uh, the various reasons uh, leading to the diseases. What is your thought on this? Uh, so, before answering this question, we've got a call in our show. Yes, gentlemen, please tell us your name and from where are you calling? Hello. Uh, hello. Yes, please tell us a question. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Hi, Namaskar. Uh, hello. 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 Hi, Kok. Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. হয় <laughs> Aru Biheke nylon atua bebohar koibo lagibo, can't you have to so to a crop koibo? Besi no kore si de hobo hekini, hose hobo. Gotike nylon atua bebohar kora to oti proizon. Aru jihetu makitu hobo, he makitu zate, mugarbra atorai. Kaidor phale akor khon koi bo pari. Tar karane tekhte jodi gela mas goroi mas bikhke sumoni kinaro thoi diye. Tenle maaki tuye tat koni mugat koni ne pari. Khe goroi mas tu uzu pai belai. Tate khos pai tate koni pai bo. Aru tene kwa ke tekhte maaki tu badubhab koma bo pari bo. Aru yaru pori sodui da kisu dibo pari bo. Tekhte yar uzu pori kam kori chale. Ah, thank you. Actually uzi. এটো এটা আমরা মুগার ক্ষেত্র কবলই গলে আটাইতকে ডাঙৰ পেস্ট মানে ম্যাক্সিমাম ডেট অকার্ড বাই ডিউ টু দিস উজি সো एक्चुअली ফর কন্ট্রোলিং দিস উজি উই হ্যাভ অ্যাডাপ্টেড সো মেনি থিংস ফর টু কন্ট্রোলিং দা উজিস বাট টিল ডেট আদার দ্যান দিস নাইলন নেট এন্ড দ্যাটস এ হোয়াট ইজ কল হাইপার প্যারাসাইট প্লিজ কিপ ইট ব্রিফ উই গট অ্যানাদার কল ইন আ শো ওয়েটিং ইয়েস ইউ ক্যান কমপ্লিট দা क्वेश्चन দ্য আনসার হাইপার প্যারাসাইট দ্যাট ইজ রিলিজ ইন দা ফিল সো দ্যাট can be to some extent control the year, but nylon net must. Hmm. Without nylon net, we cannot get the expected crop result. All right, all right. So, thank you both of us on enlightening us with yeah. on this matter. So, uh, coming <coughs> to the various factors that leads to these diseases, what is your thought? Uh, in case of uh, Mug uh, either in Muga silkworm or in horse plant, the climatic factors are most mostly responsible for disease development. Okay. And uh, due for the horse plant, mostly these diseases are fungal, leaf spot, leaf uh, blight, and uh, grey blight. These are fungal disease. Mm -hmm. So when the climatic so again, I'll stop you in between. We've got a call okay. in our show. Yes, gentlemen, please tell us an name and from where are you calling? Hello, welcome to our show, sir. Please tell us your name. Hello, are you getting my voice? Hi, Prasna to Kobo. Hi, Namaskar. Apna swagatam zonai su. Prasna to Kobo. Hi, my name is Prasna to Kobo. This is a lesson here and lesson here. The man is a person who is a person who is a person. Okay. Very good. Thank you. 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 Thank
কৈছে অসমিয়াত ফ্লেচারি টু কোয়া হয় মুখ লগা আর গ্রেসারি রোগ টু কয় ফুলা রোগ আর এই দুটা বিশেষ ক্লাইমেটিক ফেক্টরের মানে পারিপার্শ্বিকতার উপরতে নির্ভর করে ঠান্ডা দিনত এটা এই মুখ লগা রোগ তো বেশি হয় কিন্তু ফুলা রোগ তো এটা ঠান্ডা দিনত নহয় গরম দিনত হয় এই রোগকিটারপা বাঁচবর কারণে আমি যেহেতু মুগা বাহিরত করে গতি আমি বাহিরের কন্ডি যদি বায়বীয় উষ্ণতাই হোক বা আর্দ্রতাই হোক এই আমি কন্ট্রোল করব আমি নিয়ন্ত্রণ করব নো আমার হাতত নাই সেই কারণে আমি খাদ্য বৃক্ষখিন ভালকে প্রতিপাল করে সেই উষ্ণ মানের উচ্চ মানের খাদ্য দি পেলে আমি এই রোগ তো আমি প্রতিকার করবো আমি সরু পলুক সরু তিনমহিয়া বা চালুকিয়া পলুক তিনমহিয়া বা চারিমহিয়া পাত দিব লাগিব আর তাতক ডর যিখিনি পলু সেই পুরত পলুক আমি পাঁচমহিয়ার তলর পাত দিব নালাগিব তেতিয়াই স্পষ্টর ভেদে যদি আমি পাত দিও তেন হলে এই রোগ তো আমি কন্ট্রোল করি নিয়ন্ত্রণ করব Thank you. Uh, I'm uh, sure the gentleman has got his answer. Yeah. I want to add some again, points uh, here. I'm very, it's very unfortunate. Again, I'm stop, stopping in between. We've got a call in our show, I think. Uh, yes, gentlemen, please tell us your name and from where are you calling? Hello. If you can hear my voice, please tell us your name, gentlemen. Uh, Namaskar. Namaskar. Hi. হয় প্রশ্নটি কক হয় ঠিক আছে আপনার প্রশ্নটি নিশ্চয় উত্তর দিয়া হব বহুত বহুত ধন্যবাদ আমালে ফোনৰ বাবে ম্যাডাম একেটাই প্রশ্ন দেখাতে ও কৈছে মাখিৰ উপদ্ৰৱৰ পা কেনেকে পরিত্রাণ পাব পাৰি মাখিখিন আপনার মুগাখিন বসাবর কারণে এই জারুয়া আর চটুয়া মুগা বহত আপনি নেটর তলত মুগা পোহা তো নিত্যান্তই প্রয়োজন আর তারপরই আপনি মাখির আক্রমণ মাখিক বেলেগ ফালে আকর্ষণ করবর কারণে মুগাখিন আঁতরাই নিবর কারণে আপনার চুমনির পর কিছু দূরত যদি আপনি গেলা গরৈ মাছ বা তেনেকা অল্প ডর শকত জাতীয় মাছ থয় তেনেহলে সেই মুগাত কণী নেপারি মাখিটুয়ে সেই মাছত কণী পাব গতি তারপরা তেনেকে আঁতরাব পাব এটুয়ে হল মাখির পর আঁতরাবর কারণে আপনি পরিত্রাণ পাবর কারণে এটা উপায় হয়েছে খালি আপনি এটা কাম করব লাগিব যদি আপনি পারে মাখি কণী তো দেখি থাকা অবস্থাতে যদি পারে লগে লগে যদি আপনি মুগা তো পানীত জুবুরিয়া আক উঠাই দিয়ে তেন হলে সেই মাখির কণী তো নুফুটে আপনার প্রশ্ন তো কব হ্যালো হয় হ্যাঁ কোকশন আপনি আই থিং দ্য লাইন হ্যাজ গট বিন ডিসকানেক্টেড ডিউ টু সাম টেকনিক্যাল প্রবলেম ইয়েস উই ওয়ে ডিসকাসিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য ভেরিয়াস রিজনস লিডিং টু দি ডিজিজেস ইয়া mostly climatic factors are responsible for fungal diseases mm. uh, when the, the environmental temperature is increased along with the humidity the fungal diseases are more in um, host plants okay but in case of red rust when the leaves are more mature then this the, um, red rust is increased okay. so pruning is uh, must for red rust to control the uh, red rust disease hmm. pruning is necessary so uh, in case of fungal disease uh, it is related to climate but in case of uh, disease it is related to age of the leaves okay okay so coming to you mr chaudhry what is your take on this question yeah that is a important uh, yeah answers Hmm. what she has given i think in addition to that that uh, management of host plant hmm. that is equally important not only this climatic conditions but uh, equally we have to manage the plants what we have suggested the what the technology speaks hmm. about that 
if they practice uh, the same thing, then definitely the, the various technologies are proving technology. everything, yeah, everything which is everything, concerned. Everything. Yes. Not only that, even you know, I am telling you, I am giving you one example, hmm. because uh, we always suggested go for giving inputs to the plants, because regularly, yearly, two times we are using the foliages, but hmm. we are never giving any inputs to the plants. Hmm. So, we are suggesting give this type of inputs, FIM or that means uh, cow dung or then uh, your uh, vermicompost, whatever it may Absolutely. be, we have suggesting. But never you will find any farmers who will give the inputs to mm -hmm. the plants. Mm -hmm. So, that is also playing equal so, role. So, those acts as an anti elements to the host plants? Maybe. Hmm. That may be. Hmm. That may be. As you have mentioned about yeah. cow dung and yeah. various yeah. other that vermicompost inputs is and required. everything. Yes. So, that, uh, that thing also is uh, equally important for the getting the quality foliages of the host plant. Hmm. Then it may also seek hmm. the outbreak of the diseases. Okay. In the plants. Okay. So, as Madam mentioned about the temperature, the increased level of humidity. So, do you think whether is it related to global warming and uh, to some extent? Uh, I am not uh, saying maybe it may be also because yeah. uh, my assumption is that because these are the seasonal. Okay. Some are occurring in the winter, some are occurring in the summer. Hmm. So, definitely it has a relation with the temperature and the humidity all these things. Okay. So, it is not only that uh, this uh, rising of this temperature or the extreme cold, because uh, this type of phenomenon it is related with the particular situation. Okay. So, it is completely so, natural. Natural. Okay. It completely natural. So, can, uh, coming to Dr. Rana, I would like to know from you that uh, the various measures that have been adopted by the central silk board. Oh, very good question. Uh, in case of Muga host plant, we are formulating a bio formulation. Okay. It is uh, extracted from Bougainvillea plant named as phytoblyton because this is uh, applied for patent. So, this name as phytoblyton. Uh, this is for blight disease. It can control up to 80 percent of the disease incidence. Okay. Uh, the doses is because it is bio formulation, hmm. so dose is some hmm. more. So, it is highly effective. It, if highly it can effective. Control it is controlled up to 80 percent. Yes. Then, then we can say it is highly, yeah, yeah. Uh, highly effective. Yeah, yes. yeah. It is at par with chemical control. Okay. Uh, the doses is 50 ml of the solution that uh, phytoblyton hmm. should be uh, dissolved, should be mixed with uh, another 1000 liter of water. Okay. So, it is so high 50 ml of hmm. water, 50 ml of phytoblyton with hmm. 10 ml of uh, water. Hmm. So, concentration is high hmm. because it is bio formulation, okay. but uh, effect is very good hmm. and it is uh, eco friendly. All right. So, the bottom line it is eco friendly, yeah. which is very important yeah. in today's uh, relevance. Yeah. Okay, sir, so coming to you again, the various preventive measures that uh, your department, the Central Silk Board, has taken. Yeah, the various preventive measures. Yeah, exactly what she has told. Uh, that is the measures developed by the Central Silk Board okay. and that is being implemented in the field. That is the All right. Problem. So, uh, talking about the various uh, diseases and pests of Muga silkworm. Okay, so before answering this question, we've got another call in our show. Yes, gentlemen, welcome to our show, and please tell us your name and from where are you calling? Hello. Hello. Please tell us your name and from where are you calling? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 I am going to go to the phone. 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 I am Nim gosor pat, naiba posotia gosor pat, naiba tita bahokor pator roh uliai, he rohor logot all of pani milholai, apuni kopahor zula bonai, he kopahor zula to rohot tiai, he gozupar bintatu jodi horai di pukor bintatu jodi horai di pelai, 
অকমান মাটিরে আকো লিপি দিয়ে কিন্তু পিছদিনাখন আপনি আকো সাব লাগিব আপনার সেই কপাহর জুলাটো আকো উলিয়াই দিছে নেকি কারণ কপাহর জুলাটো যদি উলিয়াই দিছে তেনে হলে আপনি ভাবিব লাগিব যে গজজুপার পুকটো জিয়াই আছে গটিকে আপনি আগর দিনা জিমান গাহতাত ব্যবহার কৰিছিলে পিছদিনা তাতুকে অলপ বেছি গাহতাত ব্যবহার করিলে আপনার পুকটো কন্ট্রোল হব অলরাইট অলরাইট সো উই আর রানিং শর্ট অফ টাইম my last yeah. question of the discussion today to both of you that is what are your concluding statements on today's program yeah that okay uh, so before taking the uh, last question we have got another call in our show yes gentlemen please tell us your name and from where are you calling uh hi please gentlemen uh, tell us your name and uh, sorry uh, your question uh, मुगार कईबाद बेमार आए तार पेब्रीन थ्रेसरी जी मुख लगा मैं डर रंजना दासे कह गई से मुख लगा तार ওখহি জুয়া গতিক এইটো জিটো আপনার মানে বেমার হলেছে এইটো হল ভাইরাল ডিজিজেস জিটো মানে গ্রীষ্মকালত হয় বা উইন্টারও তো কেতিয়াবা দেখা যায় এইটো সাধারণতে ভাইরাস ইনফেক্টেড ওয়ার্মস হলে এই এনেকা ধরনের মুখৰ পৰা লাল লাব আৰু হেই বিলাক আপনাৰ আপনি জিটো কৈছে যে মুগাটো ঢিলা হয় মুগাটো ঢিলা হোৱাও দেখা যায় গতিক ইয়াৰ একমাত্র কাৰণ হল এইটো যে জিটো ক্লাইমেটিক কন্ডিশন হেই ক্লাইমেটিক কন্ডিশন এই বিলাক ভাইরাল বা বা भाइरल बीजाणु उत्पादन कर मानने जथेष मानने भल समय पाए कारण जथेष उत्पादन बृद्धि पाए और बृद्धि पार कारण मुगा सीते मुगा आक्रमण कर लास्ट क्वेश्चन डिस्काशन कन्क्लूडिंग स्टेटमेंट ऑन टूडेज प्रोग्राम या टूडेज डिस्काशन इज ए नाइस डिस्काशन एंड उव रिशिव सेभरल फोन कल्स एंड द मेसेज गिवेन बै आस आई थिंक इट उल भी हेल्पफुल फर द फार्मार्स एंड दिस टाइप अफ डिस्काशन डेफिनेटली इट उल भी हेल्पफुल फर द फर आवर स्टेक होल्डर ओके डॉक्टर रंजना दास यस डेफिनेटली इट इज हेल्प टू द फार्मार्स स्टेक होल्डार्स सो इट उल बेनिफिशियल फर बोथ अफ आस इन दुगा सिल्क वम रियरिंग सो थैंक यू मिस्टर बी चौधरी थैंक यू डॉक्टर रंजना दास इट वॉज रियली प्लेजर हैविंग यू इन द स्टूडियोज ऑफ प्रोग्राम प्रोडक्शन सेंटर नॉर्थ ईस्ट दूरदर्शन गुवाहाटी viewers that is all we have for you in today's program we'll be soon back with some other entertaining and informative programs till keep watching dd northeast thank you namaskar